Hello, I'm Stan Boney. I'm Alexis Walters. We begin this Friday night in Liberty, where earlier this afternoon a Sharon man was killed when an SUV he was driving rolled over the sidewall of a bridge. It happened on Sampson Road at the spot where it goes underneath Interstate 80. First News reporter Brandon Jaces talked with the Liberty Fire Chief about what happened. It is our top story at 10. My condolences to the family, whoever. It, it's just. It's sad. It's heartbreaking. According to Ohio State Highway Patrol, 71-year-old Bruce Markle of Sharon, Pennsylvania was driving westbound on I-80 in the left lane when his SUV hit the left side of a semi-truck tanker while trying to change lanes. Markle's car went off the left side of the road, flipped over, and then went over the concrete bridge wall and fell on its roof on Samson Road, killing him. I was actually coming down Samson and had to get rerouted to Churchill and actually they didn't even want to let me come into my house but they said since this is my property I can come. Venary has lived on Sampson Road since 2012 and has only heard of something like this happening here once. It's a shock to come home and see this. Liberty Fire Chief Douglas Theobald said this isn't common in this area and that a lot of energy and factors must have come into play to cause a car to go over the barrier wall. You know I'm not a roadway engineer but the walls on the on the bridges are usually designed to contain the vehicles on the roadway so there there had to be a lot of force applied to this to get a vehicle airborne and then to get over the road the barrier walls and down onto a lower roadway is not a common um, type feature. The roads are designed to maintain the vehicles, whether it be a commercial vehicle or a passenger vehicle, on the roadway. Regardless, Theobald and Veneri both agree that this was an unfortunate situation. Like I said, I just pray for the family and hope everything they get peace. The driver of the tanker was not hurt. The crash remains under investigation. Part of I-80 westbound was closed, but has reopened. In Liberty, Brandon Jaycees, WKBN 27 First News.